Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and welcome to Click Snippets. In this video, I will introduce you to incremental loading, a best practice used to quickly and efficiently refresh Click applications with the most current data. Incremental loading is extremely helpful with large data sources when it's not feasible to reload the entire source dataset into a Click application. Operations to perform an incremental load are very similar to those of relational databases, where inserts, updates, and deletes are performed. Each approach requires the use of click script and fields to represent execution, load, and modify times, as well as keys. These fields help identify a data source's new, changed, or deleted data and allow the appropriate actions to be performed during execution. Let me provide a brief example. OK, guys. So. This will be a very simple example of an incremental load demonstrating an insert. And I'm very excited to show you this. I wish I had somebody to walk me through this like I'm doing to you when I first started using this. Hopefully you'll value this video and at least be able to expand beyond this basic concept. So this can be done with ClickView and ClickSense. Since I'm mostly a ClickSense person, I'm gonna be using ClickSense for this. So I'm in the ClickSense hub and I have a couple applications here. Um, I have an actual application that is just responsible for performing the incremental load. And then I also have the sample application that's going to represent like the dashboard or the analysis dashboard. So just to give you a quick example, there is some script here that's going to perform the incremental load. And then we have our sample dashboard. So to get started, what I'm going to actually do is create an initial load. Okay, so as you know, we load data from the source into the ClickSense application. Now, there is the concept of what's called a QVD, and that is our in-memory representation represented on disk. You will have additional resources to learn about working with QVDs. I will provide them at the end of the video. But just so you know, we're going to use the QVD as the actual layer to be loaded into the main analysis app. So this particular app is really just going to be used for our transformation layer um, for loading the data. So the first thing I'm going to do is just use, in this case, I'm using a SQL Server, and I'm just going to select my columns from my orders data, and I'm going to store it into a QVD. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my SQL Server. I'm selecting everything from my orders table. I click Execute, and you can see all my records here. And the last record here is 12.582. If we go back to ClickSense, and you can see I have an exit script here, this is basically going to just load the initial data and store it into this QVD file on my hard drive. Click load, and the data is loaded, and now it's stored in the hard drive. If I go over to my file explorer, you can see there's my QVD file. Okay, now we go to the analysis part of this. Okay, now if I was to go into the data load editor just to show you what's happening under the covers, I've already created the um, app to actually load this data directly from the QVD file. So that's what's happening here. So if we go here and we just refresh this data, you're going to see the numbers will reset. The last order number is 12582, number of rows 3665, and we don't have a last load time because this was just our initial uh, load right now. Okay, and again, this process can vary. So now I'm going to go into SQL Server and I'm going to simulate a transaction. I'm going to enter in a record. So in this case, we said 12582 was the last record. In this case, I'm just using the order ID or the primary key. So in this case here, my next record was uh, 12583. So that's what we're going to do is just increment it by one. The values can stay the same for now. So I click Execute. We have one row affected. We go into our um, SQL query. I'm going to execute this. And you can see that the new data shows 12.583, and we have our modification time in this case. This was just here for another example I was working on. You don't need to worry about that for this example right now. Okay, so we have our new record entered into the SQL Server database. So as I mentioned, when working with ClickSense, if it's not feasible to reload or refresh the entire data set from the source, you want to just take the changed records or the inserted records. So that's where incremental load comes in. So I'm just gonna move this script down and we're not gonna execute that anymore. And we're gonna to go to the incremental load script. Okay, and this is again, the simplest example. And again, the way this works is that 
we're actually grabbing the latest order ID from the QVD file and we're using this little bit of script here to grab that order ID then we're taking that order ID and we're putting it into a variable then we're loading the records from the source data where the order ID is greater than that particular last order that's stored in the variable in this case the 12582 and then we use what's called a concatenate statement so what's really happening under the covers is you're loading the entire QVD file, which is really fast, by the way, when you load it into the in-memory um, associative engine. And it then only concatenates or adds that one record to it instead of reloading the entire data set. Okay, and then you can hear, see store orders into salesdata.qvd. Okay, so that's how it only takes that one record and it kind of like appends it into that QVD. So I'm going to execute this now. Okay, we have our one record that's been inserted. And then going back to our sales analysis, I'm just going to refresh. And you can see our number of orders had increased by one, and our last order number is 12583. Okay, if you want to see that again one more time, we'll go in. I'll increment this to 12584, execute, go back over to our incremental load procedure load that and then go back to our analysis and refresh against that QVD that was incrementally loaded and you can see the order had increased and the last order number is 12584. Incremental loading is an important part of many click applications. However, its purpose and implementation may vary. For helpful resources on incremental loading approaches, visit the Click community and our online help and search for keyword incremental loading. Thanks for your time, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.